You are welcome to another video of ISIS routing protocol concept and configuration. In the previous section, we have talked about ISIS neighborship and adjacency. When neighborship and adjacency comes up in ISIS routing protocol, like any other routing protocol, the next step is database exchange process. To understand database exchange process, we have to learn ISIS packets and ISIS LSP types which is the discussion of this section. To better understand, in this section we will compare ISIS packets with OSPF packets, ISIS LSP types with OSPF LSA types, and at the end we will have a configuration example to demonstrate and dip into the database exchange of ISIS routing protocol. In the ISIS routing protocol, like other routing protocols, after adjacency between the routers is established, the database exchange process between neighboring routers begins. However, ISIS protocol is designed independently of the OSPF protocol, but they are very similar, and the comparison between them can help us to understand ISIS protocol better. Because of that, we are going to compare uh, between OSPF packet and ISIS packet. If you remember, there are five types of packet with different target in OSPF protocol. Hello packet is to create an adjacency. DBD or database descriptor packet is used to send a summary and a list of database information existing in the router. By sending LSR or link state request packet, the router Request the details of the address and the topology of the links that are received in DBD packet but are not present in the router's database table. LSU or link state update packet, which contains LSA or link state advertisement, is used to send the details of link types and addresses which are requested. Finally, since the database information is transferred reliably in OSPF, the routers confirm the receipt of LSA types by sending acknowledge packet. Almost equivalent to OSPF packets are also available in ISIS routing protocol. Hello packets is used to identify neighboring routers and also create and follow adjacency. DSMP or complete sequence number PDU packet, it has the same function of DBD in OSPF. ISIS router transmit its database information list by sending CSMP packet. In point-to-point -point network, CSMP packet sent only once at the beginning of creating an adjacency, but in broadcast network, as we will discuss in the next section, this packet is sent periodically by designated IS. PSMP or partial sequence number PDU packet has the same function of LSR and acknowledge in OSPF. Inside partial sequence number PDU or PSMP, we refer to the set of LSP for which we request the details or acknowledgement. Of course, as we will discuss later, in broadcast network, acknowledgement is sent by CSMP, not PSMP. And finally, LSP packet is similar to LSU and LSA and is used to send link information details. In OSPF, Link and address information is packed into the LSA, but LSA is not sent. Instead, a set of LSA is sent by LSU packet through the network. In other words, in OSPF, the unit of link information is LSA and dependent on the type of the link and the information, there are different type of LSA types. With ISIS, the situation is somehow different. In ISIS, link status information packet is called LSP, and all information are sent through LSP level 1 or through LSP level 2.
packet. The link and address information are placed into the related TLV field within the LSP packet. This is unlike OSPF that we have about 10 different type of LSA. To compare LSP and LSA, there are different types of LSA in OSPF. Each LSA has its own unique identifier. For each LSA, a separate sequence number exists. Age of each LSA is also calculated separately. Acknowledgement is sent also separately for each LSA. In short, there are many LSA in OSPF and each LSA is processed separately. But in ISIS, there is only one LSP per rotor and all links and address of each rotor are sent only in the format of one LSP. For all the links and addresses of each rotor, there is only one sequence number. Acknowledgement is sent only once and in short, only one LSP is processed per rotor in ISIS routing protocol. It is interesting to know that for processing reasons, in OSPF, there can be a maximum of 50 rotors in each area, but in ISIS, the number of allowed rotors in each area is 1,000 rotors, according to the old Cisco documentation. In OSPF, link information of each rotor is sent via LSA type 1, Broadcast network information is transmitted by LSA type 2 by designated rotor. Network information related to other areas is sent with LSA type 3. And finally, information of external networks is transferred through the LSA type 4, 5, and 7. In ISIS, all this information is sent only in one LSP. Of course, in broadcast network, designated IS rotor also create and send a pseudo LSP that introduces the topology of the broadcast network. We will talk about in a separate section related to the broadcast network. The fact that all information of each rotor is transmitted by only one LSP also has the disadvantage that if only one TLV is changed, the LSP that includes all TLV has to be resent. Another question that may arise in your mind is that if the number of links and addresses that are to be sent with only one LSP is too large, then the LSP packet size will exceed the maximum allowed size of the interface MTU. In this case, how is the LSP packet will be sent on the link? If the LSP packet size exceeded the link MTU size, it is a still one LSP packet and it fragments LSP packet into multiple a smaller LSP packets, but all with the same identifier. In other words, all LSPs have the same system ID and pseudonode ID and only fragmentation number is different. Probably by using these terms system ID, pseudonode ID and fragment number, you are confused what are these terms. If you remember in OSPF each LSA is distinguished from the others by its type and link state ID. In ISIS, each LSP is distinguished by these three fields. System ID. This field indicates the system ID of the rotor that send this LSP. Sodonode ID, normally the value of this field is zero. But in pseudonode LSP sent by designated IS, it refers to the system ID of designated IS rotor. We will talk about designated IS in broadcast network. 
and LSP number. This will show fragment number of the LSP packet. When the size of the LSP packet is larger than MTU size of the interface, the LSP packet is divided into a smaller parts and each part is separated from the other part by fragment number or LSP number. To better understand LSP packets and LSP identifiers, look at the uh, topology in which rotor 1 is connected to the rotor 2 in a point-to-point -point link and 150 loopback interfaces are configured in the rotor 1 because I wanted to size of LSP be bigger than the size of the MTU. Then ISIS protocol is activated on both rotors and in the interfaces, loopback and point-to-point -point interfaces. As you can see, rotor ISIS is configured in both rotors. IS type level 1 is configured, the net address rotor 1 and rotor 2 in the same area, area 1. In rotor 2, we have one loopback interface, but in rotor 1, we have loopback interface 0, 2 loopback interface 149, which are displayed, some of them here, and the others are cleared for the simplicity. With the command show ISIS host name, the system ID, and the equivalent host name is displayed in the output. The star sign next to the rotor name indicate the current rotor. This output system ID and equivalent host name is important for us because in the output of show commands, mainly use host name instead of system ID. In the output of show ISIS database command, level 1 database table of the first rotor, rotor 1, is displayed. The database table output include only level 1 information because rotor 1 and rotor 2 rotors have already been configured as level 1 with IS type command as we have seen already. In this output, three records, one, two, and three records can be seen. The first two records belong to the LSP sent by the first rotor, and the last record belongs to the LSP sent by second rotor. LSP field, system ID, auto node ID, and fragment ID is the identifier of the LSP, as mentioned before, SODO node ID is always zero in the point-to-point -point links and only has another value in broadcast network, which we will talk about in the next sections. In the first two records, have the same system ID and SODO node ID values and only fragment number is different. This is because LSV packet size is larger than the MTU size of the interface and it is fragmented into two packets. Because of that, we have created 150 loopback interfaces. The second rotor only sends one LSP. As you can see, this is the advantage of ISIS routing protocol in which each rotor sends only one LSP packet. This is against OSPF routing protocol in which each rotor sent many LSA packet. Each LSA is processed separately. With the command show ISIS database details, you can check the details of ISIS database. Now if you pay attention to the details of Rotor 1 database table, you will see that the database output contains two sections. One is related to the information sent by the first rotor, and the second related to the information sent by the second rotor. 
In the output of LSB information sent by the first rotor, the area number, rotor name, and rotor management address is displayed. And then the address information of all links of the first rotor along with the link metric are listed in the database table. In the last record, the topology information of the rotor shows that it is connected to the rotor 2. Next to the address information of the links connected to the rotor, you will see the, the keyword or the term IP. And next to the topology information that shows how rotor is connected, the other rotors you will see the term is the same information are also repeated for the second rotor as we can see in the first two records uh, there are uh, ip information of two links because one is the point-to-point -point link the other is the loopback interface and the third line is related to the topology information which shows it is connected to the rotor one. Uh, beside the IP information, you can see the term IP, and beside the topology information, you can see the term IS. It is already mentioned that in ISIS, address and topology information of all rotor links are sent only through one LSP. This is unlike OSPF, where there are different type of LSA, where each LSA transmit part of the information of address or topology information in isis only in broadcast network the broadcast network topology information along with the list of rotors is transferred through the designated is rotor in the form of code node lsp which we will learn more details of database exchange in broadcast network in the next sections